Hello, today we will learn about stylized normal. Basically, we're going to bake this high resolution model details into a low poly one and then stylize the normals using Krita. As you can see, we can also stylize fur. Okay, the basic steps are to create a high polygonal sculpted model and then a low retopologized model with UVs already open or UVs already created in this case. So you can see this is the buff dog and this is the high resolution buff dog that you can see in the outliner. So now we're going to select this one and we're going to switch to cycles. It is important to switch to cycles to bake the normals. And in the shader editor, we're going to create a brand new image. Okay, so I'm going to remove this one. Uh, let me just rename this one and this is the material okay so let's remove this image shift a add an image we're going to create a new image 496 by 496 name it accordingly and uncheck alpha also you can create a 32-bit float image and krita is going to handle this very well anyways switch to the image editor and select the image you just created now in cycles, make sure that you have GPU active to compute faster and in the bake options, you're going to select normal. Okay. And in the normal, we're going to select object as our source. And we want to use this option cage. This cage will encompass all of our rays to bake. And what we're going to do here is to make sure that all of our modifiers are applied, including the mirror modifier. So shift T to duplicate our retopologized model and we're going to call this cage. Select the high polygonal model, then control click on the retopologized model. From there, select your image on the shader editor, and then let's go to bake and make sure that you're going to select your cage object, in this case, the dog cage. So what are we going to do? We're going to set this to five meters, select it, select it switch to edit mode, select every vertices, and then press Alt S to scale this. After that's done, you're going to see your dog even buffier, but that's what we want. So first click the high polygonal, control click the second retopologized, and then select the cage model. And also don't forget to have your image on your shader editor selected as well. Now press bake, and when you press bake, the process is going to go on, and now you have your uh, baked image. That's it. This is all the entire process you can quit the video here if you were looking for the answer but if you want to stylize your normals stay tuned because we're going to continue this process so i'm going to switch back to my full um, high resolution model and then i'm going to right click on it and then select shade smooth or shade out of smooth both options are going to give you a different kind of shading for your model in this case to have smoother normals. This is important because if you want something in your baked normal map, then that is going to come out as well. So I don't want a harsh, I want a smooth bake. So that's why I'm, I'm choosing this. But if you were to go to the, to the stylized choice, then that um, very harsh edges will serve you a lot to stylize. Anyways, let's rebake this once again. It's taking its time. And after we smooth the original high polygonal model, now we have high polygonal, uh, I'm sorry, softer normals baked from the high polygonal model. So now I'm going to save this image as a PNG, and then I'm going to click this nice button which says edit externally. I'm going to be using Krita. So right before uh, creating all of these tutorials, make sure that your file path is pointing to the Krita.exe executable application so you make sure you have Krita in your system first anyways so this opens up Krita and now I want you to um, zoom in and zoom out by using this shortcut keys and on the brush list you can have all of these brushes specifically to paint but there are other brushes like this one that I'm going to show you right here which have this little icon which is a dropper uh, these are called blenders and what they do is to softly blend colors um, from whatever digital image that you have right here. So this is very useful because we're going to basically patch all of these uh, wrong normal settings. So after that, press save, 
press OK, the PNG will be saved. You can see down there the progress of the save. You can come back to Blender and from there you can click on Reload. It will automatically reload the last version that you have modified with Krita and just like that, this is just magnificent. Now you have a full retopologized model, but we need to connect that normal map. So what do we do? Here in the shader, we're going to add a normal map node, and then you're going to switch the image into non-color. This will automatically transform your XR, I'm sorry, your RGB into XYZ uh, space coordinates so that Blender understands that it's a normal map in object space make sure that you have object space selected so let's switch everything off and let's see our final result I'm going to be switching here to just to make sure that everything is okay uh, look at those look at those nice details and this is all in the low polygonal model in the retopologized version fantastic now I want to show you an alternative method because the tutorial ended a go, quite a go. So you can paint, actually make the normals be painterly. Again, we come back to these blender brushes. Again, see this droplet icon? That is uh, the mark of a blender brush. And what they do is not to paint, but rather to blend. And my, uh, my uh, stylus, uh, my display tablet can read the tilt direction that I'm stroking this brush right here on the screen, as you can see. That's why you can see this little ov uh, oval shape. That's my brush. And I'm actually striking it or uh, drawing on the surface as if I was using a real brush. The settings for the brush tip are right here. So you can click right there, brush tip, and then come here into this tab where the list is going to appear. You have different uh, brush tips, so you can switch them. Now, everything is just for this specific brush. But if you switch to a painting brush, you will have different options. So please don't confuse those um, selections. We are using blending brushes, okay? So this is important because this makes it very easy for us to stylize this stuff. So I'm going to pick this one that looks uh, looks like fur, like hair, and then I'm going to start uh, stroking this painting or this image, such as the style of fur. Look at that. So I'm dragging up and down, up and down, and down and up uh, to make sure that I drag the color behind me. That is important so that you can stylize. In this case, the front of the ear and the back of the ear. Uh, let's save this for now. Again, you come back to Blender and from there you can click on Reload. You can see right there it's already loaded. So again, we connect it to a normal map. Don't forget to set it to object space in this case because we baked an object space um, model. So after connecting that, let's add a light and then you can see that the light will make those normals react accordingly. This is the basis of stylizing normals and please, because this will be the base for everything I'm going to be doing in the future in regards of stylized fur. The rewards for patrons in this month are three different models that deal with stylized fur, okay? So don't miss that. I really hope you liked this video and my name is Pierre Schiller. I am a 3D animator and VFX compositor with over 20 years of experience. Let me ask you something. Have you tried Blender? Try Blender and Krita. Blender is powerful and beyond artistry compatible. If this video was helpful for you, don't forget to subscribe and I hope to see you in the next video.